Hello again, everybody. This is my week three weigh-in. Um, week two, I did amazing. I wish I had evidence. Um, I don't think I do, though. But I got down to 155. I did. I promise you, I did. I was so excited. But I started cheating, which means I failed at the 21-day raw food challenge failed miserably and even today failed some more um yeah like seriously when I mean failed I mean like Chinese buffet failed failed so I've gained all of that back well not all of it I'm not like all the way back up to 167 or 166.5 which is my original weigh in but it's sad it's sad, it's sad. And, um, so I'm gonna weigh in here. Sorry, I'm all sideways. I hate it when people do that. It's like, what, what do I need to see a video of someone like this for? You know, you need to turn that thing. Turn that thing the right way. But I'm taking this stuff out of my pockets. Because a couple of times I weighed in with full pockets for some silly reason but okay yeah because changing your pockets especially if you're like a weirdo like me you can end up with like a pound of change in your pocket but here we go going to wait and I'm so not looking forward to whatever I weigh um <sighs> But, okay. I guess I'm still down from... Still down from, um... From the last time y'all saw me weigh in, which at least that's good, but... I want to be that 155. Ew, that's gross. Why do you, why does it skip like half a pound? Let me make sure I got my, ew, my feet are, my feet made a mark on it. Oh. Wow, if my foot weighs 20 pounds. See, that's what I want to do. Except with one, except without one foot being way back there. I want to, like, turn back on. Well, I'm somewhere between 160 and 161, so, and yeah, I seriously need to mop and sleep, but I'll do that after we finish talking. Um, I hope everyone, I hope everyone, um, I wish everyone good luck on the challenge and sorry for being such a failure myself. I really do want to be a good example and do this thing for real. So I got to get back on the horse before it freaking gets too far away from me. So I am starting now. No sense in waiting, right? Talk to y'all later. Oh, I do have one more thing. <laughs> No, sorry, sorry about that. Um, what would you do in this situation? Okay, I'm gonna tell you the situation. Okay, for you females, for the females, if the person you were with asked, asked one of, say the person you're with, their birthday's coming up, you ask them, is there anything you want the day before? the day before the day before and the day of their birthday and they didn't ask you they didn't tell you anything and then you find out that the person that you're with has asked another female to bake them cookies how would you react like what do you think of that do you think that that is normal do you think that that is abnormal would you be ready to 
to go to fisticuffs about it. I mean, how would you feel about that? And same thing for the guys. I mean, if, if your girl, say, it was her birthday and for her birthday she wanted some earrings, but instead of asking you for them, she asked, old dude at work. How would you react? What would you, what would you think of that? Leave a comment, please.